Hello everyone, I'm Afig1210, and today for the first video of 2023, we're going to take a look at the one we've all been waiting for. It's the 75345 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. This new 501st Battle Pack is such a fantastic surprise of a set to start off 2023, and honestly it's such a nice add-on to the original one from 2020. But no set is perfect. However, with 5 easy mods, we can get just a little bit closer. Now first as always is fixing up the stud shooters, or in this case the spring load shooter. Now this spring load shooter actually does give a nice gradient between that dark blue gray and the light gray to the mini cannon build. So to replicate that you'll be using two 1x4 dark bluish gray plates along with a 1x4 light bluish gray plate all stacked on top of each other like this. Now you just slide it into where that old spring load shooter was. Another thing that really bothers me with this little mini cannon build is the fact that it doesn't have any control panels or anything on it. You got this nice little seat build, but otherwise there's nothing to suggest how you can fire it, drive it, or do anything with it. Now this fix is going to be incredibly simple. All you're going to need is one of these rounded bar handle plates along with an inverted slope like this. Add a battle dry arm and a 1x2 modified bar handle plate, and finally a control panel of your choice, and you got this nice adjustable control panel for your clone trooper. <laughs> This is where the fun begins. We would be honored if you would join us. And then to quickly clean up the front of the model, just use this grill piece here in dark bluish gray. Then add a 1x2 curved brick, also in dark bluish gray, right in front. And now just to top it off, we have a couple rapid fire minifigure mods. For the officer, I'd recommend giving him an actual comma piece, a hard plastic one if you have it, or if you can find one, a cloth one would be most ideal. For the heavy clone, I'd give them the white Lego backpack piece as it adds the necessary bulkiness of the in-universe backpack, and then add this clip piece to the end of their rifles to turn them into the rotary cannons, which they already look much more like anyways. And finally, for the specialists, they're actually pretty darn perfect. Good job, Lego. And with all the mods in place, here it is. This set was already an amazing sequel to the original Battle First Battle Pack, and now with just these small mods and improvements, it just makes it so much better. The minifigure improvements make them fit in with the universe much better, and the small upgrades to the can gives a much more functional and displayable look, really capturing the essence of a shrunken down AV-7 cannon from the Clone Wars. But what do you think? As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and hit that bell for more videos coming very soon. Again, I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, keep on building. <laughs>